Hello again. It's Derek, and this is yet another video tutorial on data disasters and how to protect yourself in the event of a catastrophe. Today, we're doing a very short one. It's just on how to encrypt your files with your bookmarks and your logins using the Windows feature of BitLocker. If you use Mac, Mac has also a built-in encryption system. Or if you're like me and you use Linux, I use Ubuntu, then the encryption system is built right into the OS. But for Windows, if you want to, you can encrypt files or an entire USB. So with that, let's share our screen. And we'll go back to our familiar Windows machine. That's weird. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Now, there we go. Anyways, we have our Firefox set up so we can export our logins. And of course, it's going to tell us this is dangerous and stupid. And we're going to save them to a USB stick. There we go. And then we're going to remove this guy. Go to uh, bookmarks, manage. And then we're going to export them to the same place. Cool. Now, when we get out of Firefox, we go here, see, there they are. Now, this is so simple. What you want to do is go look at this, right click and choose turn on BitLocker. Then you want to put in a good password. And then it will create for you a key that you want to keep someplace safe. The key will let you undo it if you forget your password. So what's funny is this file is as important as the other ones. So I'll save it there. Go next. And well, we don't want to encrypt the entire drive because that takes forever. Whereas if we encrypt the two very small files, it'll be over in almost no time. So let's do that. See, it's almost done in a few seconds. Okay. 
and we're done. Okay, so to see if it works, we want to eject that drive. You notice it's got a lock on top of it now. It says it's okay to take it out. So I'll pull it out and then I'll put it back in. We'll see what happens, eh? So it says, well, we can't get to it. What we do? With that beer, bit locker, and we check there, and let me hold, click on that, on it, unlock. So, And bingo, there we are. It's unlocked. And you can then eject the drive again. And no one can get at your files without knowing the password. And as usual, We'll stop the share here. We'll finish our tutorial with an open invitation. If you would like help in getting your online life sorted, I'm available via Zoom to be your guide on the site. So, just drop me an email and just know that there are tools out there to help you keep your life, your digital life, I should say, both protected and backed up and safe. And we've now covered how to use encryption to keep your logins in a safe place. So even if someone steals your USB drive or you lose it, they won't have access to your private data. So bye.